It's that time when I give you all the headlines taking place from here, Johannesburg, South Africa. Welcome to your favorite home of uh, Black Entertainment with myself, Nam Lovu. And these are your headlines for your news bulletin. EFF rejects apology from news anchor. Bumalanga, municipal employee arrested for allegedly toll booth scam. Somerset West bust net drugs worth 500,000 rand. Neighbor of murdered couple testifies in court. And then we'll bring you a little bit from your favorite local celebrities talking about Tando Tabete making a new move. And of course, Busi has also got some great news that she will be sharing with her fans and of course, the rest of the continent. <laughs> Let's get straight into your news. Our first story, EFF has called for removal of a newsreader, Stephen Grutis, after he mistakenly said Malema and Lozi were accused of killing a cop. Malema and Lozi are currently on trial for allegedly assaulting Lieutenant Colonel Fenter after the funeral of the struggling icon, the late Winnie Mandela, who passed on in 2019. They pleaded not guilty to common assault at the Renbeck Magistrates Court. And to our second story, the Hawks arrest a municipal worker for credit card fraud. The Hawks have arrested a Botterfall Boven worker for allegedly credit card fraud at the Machado Toll Plaza in Mpumalanga. The 27-year-old was arrested by the members of the Hawks' serious commercial crime investigation team just this Tuesday. This a report from spokesperson Captain Sehotodi. The gentleman was arrested on the last year. Oebu was arrested last year, December, after he was found in possession of the mentioned credit card. This module operandi was said that she would swipe the card on behalf of the motorists and then would take the cash from them. One of the banks initiated the eternal audit which established that the illegal transactions were actually taking place at the toll gate. More than 100,000 rand is said to be allegedly lost through these transactions that were linked to this operation, said Captain Sokotlodi. Moving on to our next story, police make arrests after making a bust on drugs in the Somerset Police make arrests after finding drugs in a Cape Town home. A 47-year-old man alongside a 46-year-old were arrested and are said to appear at the Summer West Magistrates Court tomorrow. The investigation team pounced on the suspects at the house in Helena Heights in the Cape, where they seized drugs with an estimated value of 500,000 rand. There were drug plants, cash, syringes, bottles of ethanol and capsules that were also seized in this bust. And to our next story, a neighbor of murdered couple testifies. Witness takes stand this Tuesday in a murder trial. First witness in the murder trial of an elderly couple took the stand recently. Toraya lived in the same property with a murdered couple but also said she hardly ever had any contact with them. Slamden told the Western Cape High Court that on Saturday before the Adinela's bodies were discovered, she saw Ruhecha speaking to one of the suspects accused of the murder. Um, the legal representatives from both accused had an opportunity to cross-examine her. Up next, we've got some light entertainment stories from your favorite celebrities. <laughs> Let's carry on with your entertainment. 
uh, news uh, making headlines. Busisi one lands a talk show on BET. Great news for her fans. The Black Magic Girl reigns this International Women's Month as BET Africa welcomes the Queen of Dance, Busisi Wakula, with her very own reality show, Her Majesty. Busisi is set to premiere on the channel later this month. The 13-part local reality TV series will serve as a visual companion to Kulu's musical journey to show how original and authentic she is. The show captured Kulu's journey in creating a visual album curated by her. Cameras will closely follow her as she opens her life to viewers across the continent. Kulu is known for her electric performance on every stage. The reality stories dive deep into her award-winning music career. It involves collaborations with international stars, expanding her brain globally, and uh, intimate insights into the family life and now her album. Monde Twala, the senior vice president and general manager at CBS Networks Africa and BET Internationals, said it is exciting to bring another local black female lead reality TV series. Another story involving another black um, woman is Tando Tabeta's joining the family at the 94.7 radio station. Tando Tabete is known as an actress, as a presenter, and now can also be enjoyed on radio. It's not the first time that she'll be on radio, by the way. She's been out and about doing her own things on films and local uh, TV stories. Now she's been asked to join the family after DJ uh, Fresh and his friend were asked to leave the uh, radio station after those allegations of rape. Fortunately, uh, Fresh has not been uh, sentenced or found guilty due to lack of evidence. Moving on, Tando said that she's very elated and feels very fortunate to be joining part of the 94.7 and wishes that um, all can go well and people will accept her and love her as much as DJ Fresh's fans. We all know that DJ Fresh did a great job and he'll be sorely missed. I don't doubt that he'll be going on to doing greater things on radio. And we also congratulate Tando Tabete on this new project as one of the top DJs at 94.7. We wish you all the best. From myself, Nam Tlandlovo, I'd like to say thank you so much for tuning in. This is your home of quality black entertainment. We do urge you to please send your comments and any other stories that you may have for us and suggestions on our social media pages. We really, really would appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, from myself, Nam Tlandlovo, all the way in Johannesburg, South Africa.